This is the ninth module of SQL Learning Series, and uh, in this video, we will talk about the bulk logged recovery model. Bulk logged recovery model is similar to the full recovery model. In this, also there is a transaction log, and transaction log, uh, it's logging the uh, operations, but the bulk operations such as select into, bulk insert, create index, index rebuild, etc. These kinds of operations are minimally logged into the transaction log. The minimally logged mean that the log keeping only that much information which is required to roll back these transactions. So we have to use this bulk log recovery model when mi minimal logging techniques to prevent log file growth is required or if the database is subjected to the periodic bulk operations then also we have to use the bulk recovery model in the data warehouse systems the database recovery model must also be the bulk log recovery models in the bulk recovery model for example we have taken the full backup at 6 am then there is the backup at 6 30 am which is the log backup then at 7 is also the log backup 7 30 the log backup and at 8 o'clock we have the differential backup 8:30 we also have the log backup and at 9 o'clock the bulk operation is happened and the log record this minimally logged operation and after 9 a.m. at 9:30 there is a disaster occurred and now the what we have we have to recover the data but unfortunately the last operation is the minimal logged operation if the last operation is the minimally logged and there is no log uh, file after that then we cannot uh, recover this and we have the point in recovery option is not available in the bulk log recovery model if the last operation is minimally logged operation so now we can recover until 8:30 after 8:30 uh, there is no way to recover the data so what will be the st st steps to recover this data? First, we will recover the uh, this full backup, then these log backups, 7 a.m. log backup, 7.30 a.m. log backup, then we will recover the differential backup, and at the end, we will recover the log, uh, this 8.30 backup with this mode. So after 8.30, we, it's not possible to recover the data because it's a minimally logged operation and minimal in minimal minim, uh, in bulk log recovery model the point in time recovery is not possible uh, which is only possible in the full recovery model so what how can we differentiate with the full recovery model this bulk recovery model we uh, we will go into the SQL Server Management Studio and we will check there what how, what is the difference between full recovery model and bulk recovery model how the bulk recovery model record the bulk operation in the transaction log we will see in now in this demo this is the SQL Server Management Studio and here we will compare the bulk recovery model with the full recovery model we will create two databases one with the full recovery model one with the bulk recovery model and we will do the bulk operation in both the databases and then we will see the transaction log status what the data in the transaction log after the bulk operation so first I will create a database uh, to use the full recovery model so this is the database with the name of full recovery I create this database and after that I will change the recovery model for this database the full by using this command and uh, I can take the backup as well for this database now I will use this database which I created recently with full recovery model and I will do the bulk operation I will insert the 200 rows with 2000 characters 2000 bytes into this table this is the table name so I will I'm going to use the bulk operation this select into is the bulk operation so this is a full recovery model and I'm going to do the bulk operation in this full recovery model so after that I will I can say check in the table the records 
so these are the records which I inserted 200 records with 2000 bytes and uh, this is the transaction log I can check the status of transaction log I will copy the data from this trans transaction log and I will take it into the excel file so that I can compare with the bulk operation now after this I will create another database which will use the bulk log recovery model and I will do the same operation which I did in the full recovery model just to see what information is recorded in the transaction log I will compare with the full recovery model first I will create the database the database name is bulk log recovery and after creating I will change the recovery model to bulk logged recovery model so I change the my recovery model and I can take the backup if I need now I will use this database this database I will use and I will create a bulk operation I will do a bulk operation which will create a table with 200 records and this there are 2000 bytes so this select into is a bulk operation so two what table is created with 200 records now I will see the you if you need you can check the table also this is the table with 2000 bytes and there are 200 records so both tables in the full recovery and in the bulk recovery have the same records and the same size and now I will check the transaction log in this bulk recovery database I will copy the data from this transaction log to take into the excel file and then I will compare it with the full recovery model so I copied the data in the excel file this is the full uh, recovery model data transaction log data and in the, here is the transaction log data which I uh, copied from the bulk model database bulk log model database and here I will filter the operations I will use only one operation from this log file the loop format page I will concentrate only on this operation loop format page and I will examine that's here the loop uh, format page operation has the references of the log uh, pages and also the, there is the this is the some hexadecimal data this hexadecimal data is the ASCII code for the small a which I inserted into the uh, database so the, here in the full recovery model if I will see the log file I have the pages references and also the data which are in the pages so this is the data in the pages and if I will go to the bulk recovery model and if I will select the same operation loop format page here I will not see the data only the page references are recorded in the log file but the data itself is not recorded so the bulk log recovery model only storing the minimal information the only the pages which are which have the data but the data inside the pages is not recorded into the log file so this is the difference between uh, the full recovery model and bulk log recovery model bulk log are minimally logged only that information which is necessary to roll back the transactions so bulk log is also supporting almost all types of uh, backups but only the tail backups is not supported point in time backup is not supported all other backups are supported full backup differential backup transaction log backup copy only backups file or file group backups and partial backup all are supported by the bulk logged recovery model